I'm Patrick Scully, dancer and performance artist and the founder of Patrick's Cabaret. Cabaret is a performance venue here in South Minneapolis. It serves local artists as they develop new work. The idea is to create an accessible, friendly space for local artists to work in. And in particular, I've reached out to other GLBT and queer identified artists, as well as artists of color and people with disabilities. I'm proud to say that Patrick's Cabaret celebrated its 25th anniversary. Recently, I performed Thrive, a piece that looks back over the last 25 years, starting with the day that I found out that I'm HIV positive. The piece chronicles the highs and lows as I look at both very personal events and global affairs. We're able to see how much society has changed and how far we still have to go. In the segment that you're about to see, we look at the heady first days in this space here on Minnehaha Avenue in 1999. 1999 was a very good year. We got this building in 1999. I felt like I won the lottery. Through the generosity of the fairy godmother, we had a 20-year lease for a dollar a month. One of the first things I did was find somebody who could climb the flagpole and put up a rainbow flag. For the first time in my life, I experienced pride in flying a flag. Right next door to the police. And our flag was bigger and taller than theirs. In this case, size did matter. And on the inside here, the first thing we did was build a world-class dance floor. I remember looking at the beauty of the bare wood after it had been sanded. It was so sensuous. The hues were the same as the color of my skin. So Tim Johnson came and videotaped me as I rolled naked from one end of the room to the other. One last dance of my naked flesh and the bare wood before we clothed the floor with polyurethane. Well, they say you know it's progress. The police next door. They make for interesting neighbors. Now, this is not the police department of my youth. Say, 1979 in Minneapolis, you would not have been able to open a gay theater in a building next door to the police. You'd have had city inspectors stopping by every hour on the hour looking for a reason to close down your establishment. Fortunately, society and the police department have evolved. As Dr. King said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. We even had a lesbian precinct commander in charge next door. Led to a classic confrontation between lesbian law and order and radical fairy freedom of speech. And the First Amendment won. But I digress. I actually took a great deal of pride being able to establish this as a gay cultural landmark in South Minneapolis. On a Friday night in May of 1999, we held our first performance in this space. The room was packed with people. We were no longer just surviving, we were thriving. And Saturday morning, I got in the car and drove up to Brainerd to my father's funeral. I learned something important that weekend about the enormous capacity of the human heart. Its ability to hold that much sorrow and that much joy all at the same time. Say the progress begins with you. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund 
and the citizens of Minnesota.